Here we have an NGenius EOA3630. You can see it's an 802.11 device, uh, B and G. I believe it supports connections up to 108 megabits per second when you're using two of these for bridging. Um, it's a multifunction access point. Um, has an external antenna. It can be mounted on a wall outdoors. Um, it does bridging, can act as an access point or a router. So this is the box. We received two of these from this company for a customer. And these are the box contents. You can see the device here. And here is probably the power brick, the power over ethernet injector, and the external antenna. Looks like a grounding strap. Pretty thick, heavy duty, that's good. Uh, looks like a bay cover of one kind or another. Some mounting hardware, possibly for that uh, cover there or the ground strap. Either some software, a video, or a user's manual, one or the other. Another box, I wonder what's in here. More mounting hardware. Very good. Well, I'll set it up, power it on, see what the interface looks like. Here's the back of the access point. You can see where the uh, Ethernet line goes right here. That provides power and your network connection to the device. And that little bay cover mounts over this. Um, has some parts for strain relief too, if you add connectors to your cable. Right here are the indicators for uh, wireless LAN activity, LAN activity, and power. This is the link quality indicator if you're using it in bridge mode. It's got a red, yellow, and green LED indicating one level of signal strength. Red is poor, yellow is acceptable, green is good. You can see it includes some details here. This uh, metal cover is for heat dissipation. These four uh, mounting locations are for your hardware that would mount to a wall or a pole, however you wanted to set this up. And there's where your grounding would set up. And I looked at the configuration interface on this. It supports uh, VLAN tagging and up to four SSIDs for wireless. Quite a versatile device. We'll have to see how it performs once we're on site.